Many people know the name Oxford, Mississippi because of the famous University of Mississippi. It's a classic college town in many ways and a lovely place in which to get your education. But unlike some college towns, Oxford has a lot to offer beyond the university. It has a large variety of art, culture, food, outdoor attractions, and more. So join Vucation as we present the best things to do in Oxford, Mississippi. Check out some art galleries. You don't have to be an art aficionado to enjoy the galleries of Oxford. Though, if you are one, you'll certainly appreciate what the city offers in that regard. You have a variety of galleries from which to choose, so you can either pick out one or two and scatter them around your trip, or take a day to hop from space to space. You could start at the Southside Gallery in Town Square. It has a focus on artists from the southeastern United States, so you'll be immediately getting some local flair. It has a steady calendar of monthly rotating exhibits and also offers evenings with artists presenting work. There's Gallery 130, which is the campus gallery at Ole Miss. You'll get a chance to see works by budding artists since it features art from current Ole Miss students. But it's not limited to the under-21 crowd. Gallery 130 also has shows for artists visiting from out of town. It's only open Monday through Friday, so you don't want to include Gallery 130 in your weekend art plans. Next on the list is Oxford Treehouse Gallery, which is slightly outside of Oxford, but is worth a look. It sits inside a pine grove and features art from two dozen artists from the region. Finally, there's the Oxford Art Crawl. If you're in town on a Tuesday between 6 and 8 p.m., you could join up on this tour that takes you on a bus ride from gallery to gallery. Historic Oxford Town Square Oxford's historic town square is in many ways the center of the city, because while Ole Miss dominates the town in some ways, the square is kind of its beating heart. It has everything you could ask for from a historic and charming southern town square. That includes a bevy of great restaurants, many of which offer down-home southern food, art galleries, and stores. The center of the square is the Lafayette County Courthouse. It was sadly burned down during the Civil War, but has since been rebuilt. Book lovers in particular will adore historic Oxford Town Square because it houses Square Books, one of the best indie bookstores in the country. And there are three other shops owned by the same folks. Off Square Books, Square Books Jr., and Rare Square Books that are pretty close by as well. Town Square is a great place to simply sit and people watch or to grab a bite to eat and shop a bit. You can also see a red telephone booth that was brought in from the other Oxford, the one in England. A local resident named John Valentine once bought the photo booth when he was serving in the Air Force and stationed in Oxford, England. He had it shipped to Oxford, Mississippi, where it now stands inside the Oxford City Hall. Ole Miss the University of Mississippi is its official name, but most people just refer to it as Ole Miss. It's probably the thing that makes Oxford famous, and it's definitely worth visiting when you're in town. It's generally considered one of the most gorgeous campuses in the country, and more often than not makes lists of the best-looking schools in the U.S. It dates to 1848, and the centerpiece of campus is the Lyceum. It was built in the Greek Revival style and has survived through tumultuous historical times. For example, during the Civil War, it was set up to serve as a hospital for wounded soldiers. And if you look closely at the building's facade, you can see bullet holes. They are from 1962, when the first black student matriculated at Ole Miss and violence ensued. Both historical footnotes are important in remembering the history of racial intolerance and injustice that has plagued our nation. But it's certainly better to preserve and study those bullet holes than to simply pave over them. As you walk around campus, you'll be treated to acres of gorgeous tree-lined areas featuring pines, magnolias, and live oaks. It truly looks like you've wandered into a national park. While there, you can also check out the University of Mississippi Museum. It hosts several impressive collections that not only show off the college's past, but the state and county as well. They house artifacts ranging from scientific instruments to Greek and Roman coins to art pieces from around the country. You can check out some tools from the 1800s that the school used to teach its students about astronomy and physics, and much more. If you're a sports fan, you might love catching a football or basketball game at Ole Miss. And if you're a partier, you should definitely come early and stay late for some epic tailgating. As the saying goes, Ole Miss doesn't ever lose a party. So that should give you a sense of the revelry available on campus. Plus, for football games, the players walk literally through the tailgating area, so you can wish them luck as you eat some ribs and down a beer. Rowan Oak There are few American authors more highly esteemed than William Faulkner, and Rowan Oak is where this Nobel laureate called home for about 40 years. 
In 1972, about a decade after Faulkner passed away, his family decided to sell the property to Ole Miss. The one condition was they couldn't use it simply for housing. It had to be turned into a museum where people could learn about Faulkner's life and works. So Roanoke became a museum for the late great author. For five bucks, you can tour the 150-year-old building and see where he lived and worked. His old typewriter still sits there, so you can imagine him typing away into the wee hours of the night. If you can't get enough Faulkner from Roanoke, you can also head to the Oxford Memorial Cemetery, which is where he's buried along with his family. There's a fun tradition, assuming you're into bourbon, where people bring a full bottle to Faulkner's grave. Each person takes a shot, and then you leave the bottle as a tribute. Of course, if you're not a drinker, you can leave other trinkets there, like coins. Get your grub on As we mentioned earlier, Oxford has no shortage of incredible southern food. These spots range from casual eateries to fancy spots and everything in between. So if you're into things like fried catfish, biscuits and gravy, fried chicken and on and on, you'll find Oxford ideal for your palate. City Grocery might sound like a supermarket, but it's a great restaurant to check out. We recommend their shrimp and grits. Not only is it tasty on its own, but City Grocery also loads theirs up with bacon and mushrooms, which makes them even more decadent. Then there's Bore Restaurant, which is a fancier spot. Put on some nice duds and try their crab cakes, or check out the jambalaya, which is particularly good. And if you aren't craving southern food, you can stick to one of their excellent burgers. Finally, for an easy and tasty lunch, head to Ajax Diner. It has everything you'd want in a classic southern lunch. Just maybe schedule some nap times for afterwards. Burns Belfry Museum and Multicultural Center The Burns Belfry Museum and Multicultural Center is a museum that focuses on the history of African Americans in Oxford. In 1910, freed slaves built a church called the Burns Methodist Episcopal Church. The museum once shared the space with the church's parishioners. In the 70s, the church moved locations and the building became the Belfry, which was an office building. But fortunately, author John Grisham, who originally hails from Oxford, decided to buy the building. He then donated it to a couple non-profits for the purpose of preserving it. So the Burns Belfry, as it's now known, serves dual functions. It not only hosts meetings for the local community and is a general event space, but it also hosts a museum that showcases the history of the locals and the church. As you can see, Oxford is a fantastic place to visit. It's soaked in history and southern charm, but the fact that Ole Miss is the centerpiece means it'll always stay youthful, vibrant, and intellectual. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Oxford? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.